Hi everyone, I'm Emily Roberts, Content Associate at PandaDoc, and today I sat down with our SDR manager, Anna Duenas, and learned a little bit about how to reduce turnover on your sales team. Hey, I'm Anna. I have a team of 16 SDR staff, and I've been at PandaDoc for three and a half years. Our team here is really fun, energetic, and they love working with each other. Anytime we have a new team member come in, uh, veterans really take some time to mentor all the camp communities, and this gives us a chance to make sure that everyone's succeeding. I think sales has a bad rep because it's a numbers-driven industry, and some of the quotas are cutthroat. Um, ultimately, at the end of the day, it's really competitive, and a lot of people that are in the sales industry are looking to be their best. Some tips for attaining your top talent, pair your A players with B players and make sure that they're successful together. As you're hiring and onboarding, you're looking for drive and motivation versus just experience. And maintain the culture of learning. So if you guys have any tips or tricks that you guys are finding working for the A players, make sure you're sharing that across the team. To reduce sales turnover, make sure you have a clear idea of the individual's goals very early on during the interview process. This is going to give you a chance to see where they fit in the picture and what kind of career you can build with them. The most important thing is making sure that every single individual feels the impact that they can make in the org and that you can celebrate milestones with them as they accomplish those. Thanks so much for tuning into this episode of Corner Office. We hope you learned something about how to reduce turnover on your sales team, and we'll see you next time.